All right, guys, jumping right back into objective 36. Now we're going to do the volume of rectangle. Rectangle. Hold on, let me fix this. You got to be kidding me. Rectangle. Oh, that's the wrong one. Rectangular prisms. Oh my gosh, you got, I'm so I'm I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. There we go. Wow, that was rough. Volume of rectangular prisms. We did surface area, all the stuff on the outside of the cereal box. Now we're doing how much crushed up Cheerios can you fit inside that box? Let's do it. Formula, straight up. I'm sure you've seen it before, hopefully. Volume is take what's the length, times it by the width, and then fill it in with the height. Length times width times height. Got to have this. Hey, hey, hey. Got to have this in our notes here. Formula, volume equals length times width times height. V stands for volume. Yes. Let's go. Once again, what's the volume of this rectangular prism? Choose your dimensions. This to me looks like the length. This maybe looks like the width. And this looks like the height. So the length is 4. The width is 3. The height is five. If you guys chose to make your length something different or your width something different or your height something different, you're still going to get the same answer. So just whatever you want to pick for length, width, and height, that's up to you. Volume equals length times width times height. Let me back that up. Length times width times height. Our length is four. Our width is three. Our height is five, and yes, it is as simple as it seems. Multiply those, four times three times five, 60 centimeters. But now, guys, we are working in the third dimension, so our units must be to the third power, which we call units cubed, centimeters cubed. Hopefully feeling good. Let's do it. Let's bang out some problems here. Right, because now we're filling in the space. We need the volume. We need how much Cheerio dust can you fit into that box? Well, we need to do the length by the width, fill it all the way in with the height. There's our volume. Okay, calculate the volume of a rectangular prism with dimensions 11 meters by 4 meters by 12 meters. Let's just do it in order. Length is 11, width is 4, height is 12. We decided to use each of the dimensions, make one the Length, one the width, one the height. Formula, formula, formula. Volume equals length times width times height. Length times the width, which is 4, times the height, which is 12. Use our trusty, dusty calculator here for 11 times 4 times 12. 528. Our units were meters, and because we are talking volume, it's got to be cubed. 528 meters cubed. Yes. Choose your length. Choose your width. Choose your height. Multiply them up. It's really that simple. Okay. Find the volume of the cube. Ooh. Interesting. Volume of the cube. So what's unique about a cube? That's very interesting. We're going to use some words that we used last objective. Ready? The faces of a cube, let me back this up, all faces are squares. That's what's unique about a cube. So then what I want to think is, well, wait a minute. I know a square, right? We all know about squares. They have the same length and the same width. So now if all the faces are squares, well, that means... The length is going to be, in this case, 5. Well, since that's a square, means the width is going to be 5. But since there's, they're all made up of squares, that means the height is going to be 5. So that's what's unique about a cube. All the faces are squares, meaning all the dimensions are the same. So with a cube, so in a cube, all dimensions are the same. 
So even if you're only given one dimension, if you know that it's a cube, it means the length, width, and the height are all the same. Volume equals length times width times height. Length is 5. Width is 5. Height is 5. 5 times 5 times 5. 125 units cubed. Ooh, and you see how that connects. A cube, we call, we call it units cubed. Well, when we have things to the third dimension, we call it cubed because, yeah, guess what? A three-dimensional figure that has all squares is a cube. Mind blown. Let's keep rolling here. Determine the volume of a cube with side 6.1. Again, with a cube, we know all dimensions are the same. So length is 6.1, width is 6.1, height is 6.1. You gotta love the cubes. Volume, length times width times height. 6.1 times the width, which is 6.1, times the height, which is 6.1. Do a little calculate in 6.1 times 6.1 times 6.1, 226. 0.981 units cubed. We are rocking and rolling right now. We are a well-oiled machine here, folks. I believe this is the last one. Ugly. Gross. Really gross. But so what? This is where you're really going to need the calculator on your phone or just go online, type in calculator, right? Go to Google and type calculator, and it'll give you this the square root functions that you need. So my suggestion is find the volume of the cube. So the cube, the dimension is three times the square root of five, three times square root five. I just want to get a decimal for that. It's so much easier. Just use the decimal, use the decimal. So three times the square root of five comes out to like 6.708. So that's what we'll use is 6.708. So since it's a cube, I know what you're all thinking, that the length is 6.708, and the width is 6.708, and the height is 6.708. Perfect. Volume equals length times width times height. Oh, I'm going to write this all out. Just for good measure. Look at that. Length, width, height. They're all 6. 6.708 6.708 times 6.708 times 6.708 boom the volume is 301 point we'll say 84 inches cubed now remember if all of you, if none of your answers look like this and your answers have stuff like the square root 5 in it then just match it up, right? Match up which of your answers comes closest or really, really close to something around 301.84, and you'll be all set, okay? Simple formula, as long as we can identify the length, the width, and the height, and with the cube, we know that they're all the same. So, make sure you have these two formulas, surface area for a prism, volume, of a rectangular prism and let's just go rock our accelerated math great job folks we'll see you